Good evening, John Schmidt, Gloucester City, New Jersey. Before I get into it, I'm going to uh, train the thought. Um, on, your, on the agenda items related to the police vehicles, um, the abstention by Mr. Parento, I ask why you're saying I work for Falk Management, which is the owner of the 11 dealerships and also relates one of those. Uh, also, is Eileen Ketch's first name, Mr. Ragnis, is, is he employed by the Dark School? No. What was his first name? David. Uh, unrelated issue related to my comments. Um, first, uh, let me say, John Schmidt was City, New Jersey. Um, total government uh, advocate for government transparency and I told throughout government in South Jersey specifically in Camden County. Excuse me, gentlemen, we can't hear up here. Thank you. And I'm getting into Gloucester County. Uh, usually I try to have video tape one of me. I had no intention of coming here until about 6.45 tonight. Um, after a few meetings, I kind of made my policy. I know what towns have a policy on videotaping and not. I walk over the camera, it's my right. But, you know, just get I, just, I, I, I don't know you, so that's all I can. Um, we did talk last time I was here, on the back table. I'm sorry. No problem. I was hoping you were from Channel 6. I uh, was in Pennsauken in front of the boathouse today, and um, it was very, rather interesting. Kelly had very good time leaving. I had learned there that he was on his way to have heights. Um, so I decided to have to drop him in the front of the Hill, come over here instead of going down to Clemson this evening to see what Luke Kelly was up to. Um, saw your agenda in Mr. Kelly's shop? No. No, he, he had called earlier and put off, and you probably scared him away. Well, we had a call yesterday. Yeah, it was dead. Yeah. Well, he was yeah. still using the season to be here. No, he was coming. <laughs> Although his gas light was being out of the parking lot. Okay. Um, we were looking forward to that check. Yeah. Uh, they, they might be using money to pay this consultant or his county police department. Um, did you get an invite to the meeting today? No, sir. That's interesting. Um, I had spoken to the mayor of Haddonfield last night, and then she was invited, which Kind of trying to figure out how Haddonfield got invited, and then Audubon doesn't work with Camden either. You guys are they do. Too. Technically, they do because of Black Horse Play. Audubon. Uh, there's Oakland, there's Audubon because it, unfortunately, because of the crime statistics, I would say. Because, as you know, I'm retired out of Camden City. Mm -hmm. We used to have people being chased into Camden from Audubon and stuff. And Audubon, you know, Audubon, it goes from Audubon across the street, West Thompson Heights, right. and it's Audubon Park, not yeah. Audubon. Adjacent, yeah. right. But if it's it was close enough in the realm. Oh, but it should be close. If that feels close enough. Okay. Anyway, I'm here to ask, did you get an email today? From Gary Passanante. Who? Mm -hmm. Gary Passanante. Chief, I'm sorry. No, no. Did, did, you, sorry, you, share share did your chief uh, get an email? No, I need to get an email from today. I get it. Uh, allow me to read it to you, because this is serious. You got our email? Um, <laughs> no, I got an email. Oh. I got an email from another name, Scott, I won't mention it. Um, but if you, if you listen in the past few weeks, or if you watched the video last uh, pre order meeting, it's the Camden Metro Police Department. That's what they've been calling it. A year ago, Camden County, now it's Camden Metro. Makes us all feel a little bit safer. Sent today, Tuesday, August 21st, 10.38 a.m. Camden County Division of Service Services, subject Camden County Police Department, Camden County Police Department. Meeting 829-12, please forward to your union representatives. Dear Mayor and Chief, as you are aware, the county is moving forward with operationalizing the Camden County Police Department. In order for the county to hire the most qualified sworn police personnel, it is necessary to seek a pilot program from the Civil Service Commission. A requirement from civil service is the pilot application process is that the county must notify all bargaining units that this Camden County Police Department may impact. Therefore, since all sworn police personnel are potential candidates for the Camden County Police Department, kindly advise either the PBA or FOP unions that are representing the police personnel in your municipality of a meeting scheduled on Wednesday, the 29th of August at 10 a.m. 
Camden County Regional Training Center and Fire Academy, 420 Wicker International Road, Blackwood, New Jersey. Um, the purpose of this meeting is to consult all police unions with the county that the Camden County Police Department has begun to hire sworn personnel in the process that the county is seeking to implement. Thank you for your assistance in notifying the appropriate parties. Sincere Gary J. Pass, not the director, also the mayor, Somerdale. So, I didn't know Lou was coming to come get that check. And given the connection, I said, well, I'm going to go over and see what's going on. And as I go to my meetings, I'm going to pose a question to the mayors and to each member of council. And I'm glad the lady got up here and your chief got up here uh, because that's community policing. Because that issue is not an issue, it's different from Clemson. It's different than Haddonfield, it's different than Runnymede, it's different than Wall Street, or Brooklyn, or Sheriff Hill. Do you support a Camden County Police Department? No, I do not. Do any of you? No, I do not. I'll tell you very emphatically. One of, one of the things that's bothered me automatically is that I see these articles and these retrospect about how the county's doing this in the parks, there's no smoking. But yet, at 8 o'clock, they stop patrolling the parks. We have to take over the parks. That's just the beginning of how they're going to take away from municipalities and the smaller towns to patrol the game. I am all for home rule. That's worth the rental personally. I have no opinion on this. Any other? Any other? Any other? Um, I'm open to the idea. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not. I'm listening to what's happening. I want to keep an open mind about it. Um, I do like to be cheap, you know, that I can call the police chief that knows who I am, that I know my community, but uh, I can't say I'm an expert on it to give you a good answer. It seems like you know a lot more. If you'd like to talk to me about it, I'd be willing to talk to you. I've read a lot about it, but I haven't gone to any of the meetings. I don't. Have enough of it, know enough about it to really uh, give you an opinion on it. Councilman, if I could ask, how do you have no opinion about it? it as an elected official, uh, I myself was appointed to the housing authority in this county, uh -huh. uh, and what the local police do would absolutely impact us if we went to the county wide force. As, as a public official, as an elected official, for something that's been going on, you have no opinion? I'm, I'm not running again. I'll be off this council at the end of this year. And, and if anything is implemented, it's certainly not going to be until next year. So uh, I can't add in, I can't add any value to the to the argument. I don't really know very much about the whole concept. Why, you know, why would I talk when I don't really have a good opinion, a reasonable opinion about the whole concept? Well, I, I thank you for your straightforward answers. Um, you know, in the future, is, is a countywide what a countywide force for? You know, works down in Virginia, works down in Maryland. Um, so I think you could have Camden City and Camden County. Um, but the freeholders meeting last week, um, numerous times. Well, Camden City is going to pay for it. The county's not going to pay for it. Camden City can't pay for its own police department. Line number one. Freeholder can tell us that we have 1,200 interest in applicants. Two days later, told the carrier it was 1,500. Now they're recruiting everybody else from the county. Um, just to name a few. And there's too much uncertainty. And uh, I'm happy you support your local, your local police. And I'm urging elected officials to, to the next three order meetings on one side to get involved with this process. Because if Camden City falls, guess what? What's next? They're going to go right down the pikes and it's going to end in Cherry Hill and Gloucester Township. Surprisingly, Camden County Park Police done patrol in Lakeland come October. Guess who gets to take over Lakeland? Gloucester Township Police Department. Just that's the supposed headquarters of the new county police. I mean, we're not stupid in this county. Um, and if we don't stand with Camden, Camden City right now, we don't stand with the police officers that within five years, none of us are going to have our own police departments. So, if you're referring to your studies about regional police, there's, there's numerous studies out there. Uh, West Town, Pennsylvania, did a merger several years back. Uh, the costs have gotten so high that they downgraded the bond rate. Out in California and Washington State, you know, uh, the towns are backing out because they have no control over administrative costs after two or three years. The county just tells them we're increasing by this amount, and you have no say. The towns have withdrawn from it and gone back to their own police departments so they have more control. So people need to think about that. And I see, in terms of regionalization, like Westville and National Park, they join, you know. 
maybe, you know, a, a Maui term and go, I don't, you know, something that you could possibly see, you know. But right now, where this is going, it's gonna, it's gonna be here by January. So wake up, because it's, it's here. With, like I said, it's been five years, it's done. Well, thanks, John. Thank you, John. John, I was gonna say, you mentioned Maryland having counties for leases, but the state uses county for most of their basic services, like all their schools are all county-based. It's, it's a lot different. So it's, it's a, a way of life in the state, it's not. A friend of mine wrote an interesting article about uh, Bears and Boston Township Patch, where if you think the police and fire, you know, or police, what's next, EMS, fire, well, what about the schools? Think about what the county, and the county it's scary. It's or, scary with, I mean, maybe a good idea to get the county board chairs and the for the last 15 years. I mean, campus revitalization, where's that? No offense. Thanks, Falcon Mark, great job there. Let's tear down the state prison. It's still vacant. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Motion to close the portion of the meeting. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We're uh, residing back upstairs for a closed session. I'd like to thank you all for coming and everybody have a nice, healthy, safe Labor Day. We will not be coming back. Yeah, Labor Day.